Imagine being targeted for death because you are believed to belong to the wrong ethnic group, race, religion, or nationality. Imagine losing everything you own, everything you know, everything you love. Throughout our world, tens of millions of innocent civilians have been victims of genocide in the past 100 years alone. In fact, prominent scholars such as Samuel Totten have dubbed the 20th century as the century of genocide. Genocide is not a natural disaster. Its victims are not collateral damage of war. It's deliberately planned to eradicate a targeted population. During World War II, the Nazi regime led by Adolf Hitler set out on a campaign to rid the world of Jews. This led to the brutal killing of six million people in gas chambers of concentration camps and killing fields of Eastern Europe. Over the course of a hundred days in 1994, the Hutu extremist government of Rwanda carried out a planned extermination of its Tutsi population. Within three months, they had murdered at least half a million men, women, and children. Since the genocide in Sudan began in 2003, over 400,000 innocent people have lost their lives, and this number continues to climb. Over 400 villages have been destroyed and those who have managed to survive have been forced to flee their homes. Over the course of two days, the genocide in Srebrenica claimed the lives of 8,000 men and boys as they were executed by the Serb military. Most survivors of genocide are left with nothing. Many lost their families. Their homes and towns were destroyed and they were forced to rebuild their lives from scratch. These people are now forced to spend what little money they have on food, shelter, and caring for other family members. Perhaps the most devastating result of a genocide is the number of children who are left on their own in the aftermath. In Rwanda, up to 400,000 children struggle to survive without one or both parents. Studies suggest that there is a link between low levels of education and a higher risk of conflict. In present-day Rwanda, there are very few educational opportunities beyond secondary school. Many survivors must start from scratch. They do not have the means to pay for university education. Post Genocide Education Fund, PGEF, is designed to provide funds to allow survivors of genocide pursue post-secondary education. You can help PGEF help students in countries ravaged by genocide gain access to education by donating to PGEF or by purchasing We Cannot Forget. Any contribution can make an astonishing difference in a genocide survivor's life. It can help to move a person from a life of impoverishment and little hope to one in which he or she not only thrives personally, but can make a remarkable difference in his or her own country by helping others in need.